What's going on, everybody? My name is KJ Kaya, part of HMG Entertainment, and I'm here with Glenn Terrell. We just finished wrapping up our interview, so if you, you guys for, you haven't for, you seen for, that- You forgot to say I'm the greatest artist alive. The greatest artist alive, Glenn Terrell, and I have just recorded an interview. So if you guys haven't seen that, please go tune in. We deep dive into the HMG tape a little bit. You guys can pick the brains of the greatest artists alive. <laughs> that part. It's a, it's a great interview. I really hope you guys go watch that. But if you guys are already here, stay tuned. We're going to be diving into the individual songs off the tape. So we starting off with the first one. What's Come going on? on? Come on. Right? Tell on? me about Don't Sell Out for the Fame, Be Who You Be. That's, that's self-explanatory. I mean, every time you go on Instagram, it's it's a new motherfucker trying to be another motherfucker. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I said, it's a rat race. Yeah. Um, you ask half the people why they're doing what they're doing, they can't tell you why. They don't know why they like Gucci. Mm -hmm. they, don't, they don't know why they like Louis. They don't know why they ran red bottoms. They don't know. They doing it because the next person doing it. Right. So be yourself. Right. Both, I'm gonna look at this camera and I'm gonna look at this camera. Both y'all motherfuckers, because I know this motherfuckers watching it, that's not y'all. Look, 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 look. You can achieve anything if you be yourself. Be yourself. Stop trying to be something you're not, dumbasses. <laughs> so wait, so how does that purpose extend to Glenn Terrell though? Who, who are you gonna be? Who are, who is Glenn Terrell gonna be? That nigga. All the time, I'm gonna be that nigga. I'm gonna be that guy. Just self explanatory so I'm gonna be. Let me, let me do a political politi politi political correct answer because yeah. I know my mama probably watching and my granny probably <laughs> watching it too. But I'm gonna be I'm gonna be a, um, something somebody that people could look up to that could be like he came from the same place I came from. He dealt with the same things I've dealt with, and he achieved greater things. You know what I mean? Coming from not just a positive, I mean a a negative environment, just a negative. Mind, mindset, you know what I mean? Right. I, I've dealt with things that will break a grown man down, and I'm still right. achieving. I'm still, I'm still pushing. So, I want to be. That's what I'm gonna be. And so, and you're doing it differently. For as sure, well. for sure, for sure. I'm, you don't gotta, you don't, you don't gotta be no street nigga. You don't gotta be no real nigga. That, that's a myth. Look, I'm gonna say this again to both of these cameras. <laughs> Stop trying to be a real nigga. Stop trying to be. A, you're gonna die. Or you're gonna go to prison. You don't have to do none of that bullshit. You know what I mean? You could be something positive. You could be something. If you want to be an artist, be an artist. If you want to be a skateboarder, be a skateboarder. You want to be a, a nutritious, be that. You don't got to do all that all extra shit. You're going to die or you're going to go to jail, bro. Trust me. Trust me. And so that's actually a perfect segue into the next song. Yeah. You know what I'm going to say. Yeah. yeah. You know, you know, I knew what I was doing. Yeah. I knew what I was doing. So, 9 6 era. Doing. Yeah. Don't yeah. jump into shit you ain't built for, cause you gonna end up snitching. Type shit you get killed for. I mean, I don't know about today's time, cause there's a lot of snitches going around and shit. But mm -hmm. just don't don't jump in something you ain't built for. If you if you wasn't born into that, don't get 16, 17 and jump into some bullshit because it looks good on Instagram. That shit ain't that shit ain't cool. That shit ain't Gucci. That shit ain't mafia. You know what I mean? That shit would never be cool. You're not gonna be respected. You more respected just being a stand-up man, being a stand-up mm -hmm. character than being somebody that you're not. You're gonna end up going out there and getting whacked. You're mm -hmm. gonna get, like I said, you're gonna go to jail or you're gonna get killed. You're gonna end up fucking with somebody that's been in this since they was kids. They got pent-up anger and they looking for somebody to knock off and you're gonna be that motherfucker. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy, you know what I mean? Do something positive, get some money. So do, do we see like, cause I mean, in high school, you know, the, a lot of young men look yeah. up to, you know, whether it's the rappers, cause you know, they got the money, they, they yeah, want that yeah. lifestyle, yeah. you know, tell me a little bit about the kids that didn't have to grow up in, in, you know, the negative environments or, you know, the, the type of environment that you grew up in who are trying to become that. Trying to become like the tough guy? Yeah. <laughs> you're stupid. <laughs> that's, 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 you're stupid. You're, that's, that's hustling backwards. You know what I mean? If you're already in a positive, coming from a positive place, uh, uh, why go backwards? Why, why know what peace is and still want negativity, still want hell? That's, just don't, don't be that guy. <laughs> Please don't be that guy. I, I'm seeing too many of them. 
as, as Loki said, because it's like people that I know, that I grew up with. Yeah. I'm like, bro, what is you on? Like, what? Right. What's good? Like, you. You need a you need a hug or something, bro? Like, what the fuck going on? People be scared to give hugs these days, man. Sometimes people just need a hug. That's bro. that's really what it is. They just need yeah. they just need some love. You know what I mean? That's lacked in today's time. Yeah. But love is lacked. You need love. I don't care who you is. The, the biggest gangster got emotions. The biggest gangster got feelings. You know what I mean? So everybody need someone to talk to. You feel me? Yeah, definitely. And so you know when you were. You know, when you were in high school, when you were in the come up, um, how, how did this how did this relate to you? Did you think about any of these things that you're thinking of now? If you had a message to tell the kids, just like just like Glenn Terrell, yeah, what would you tell them? Um, we all young, you know what I mean. I ain't finna nobody young. Everybody that's young isn't perfect, you know what I mean. I was a <laughs> I was I was a, I was a fuck up for a minute, you know what I mean. But I always knew. I had to change at some point. This can't last forever, you know what I mean? Right. You want to make your mistakes as a kid. You want to make them as a young. So get the mistakes out the way now. You don't want to be you don't want to be in your late 20s and your 30s doing some little kid shit and getting setting yourself backwards, you know what I mean? So I, I fucked up. I, I bullshit a lot. Like I said, I didn't really start really focused till I turned like till I turned like 20. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. it took, I guess it took me 20 years to finally figure this out. Like you either gonna, you either gonna sink or swim, fight right. or flight. You know what I mean? So just, just use your head. Just think before you do shit. That's all I gotta say. Just think before you do shit. You know what right. I mean? It's it's okay to fuck up. Expand your perspective. You it's know? like it's okay to fuck up. Right. It's okay to fuck up. <laughs> if you could tell GB in the past one thing, what would you tell him? Don't trust her. <laughs> Do not trust her. Do not trust Very her. Very ambiguous. Don't trust her. Don't trust. Now nah, let me let me say something. <laughs> don't yeah. trust her. That's that's what I tell GB. Don't trust her, bro. She a, she's a flipper. Don't trust her. She out here getting flipped. But nah, what I'll tell him. Um, <laughs> keep chasing your dreams, man. Um, don't let what people are saying right now affect what you're doing or what you want to do. Um, and the main people that's telling you, the shit that they telling you, they ain't even cut like that. They not even, they not even on their P's and Q's. They not even on their shit. So keep following your dreams, keep doing you. Don't let your mistakes get the best of you. That's what I'll tell them. And I'll tell them don't trust her again. <laughs> For real. But For sure. All right, next track. And it's a very simple phrase, but it has a lot of underlying, you know, themes behind it. I it's all faded. It's all faded? Yeah. Uh-huh. Fuck that we get faded. Tell me about that. How does this relate to, to the life of GB, to the life of Glenn Terrell? How, how does this relate to Shit. people in your circumstances? Oh, man. Fuck that we getting faded. Uh, I mean, when I wrote that song, I didn't, even, I didn't even smoke like that. But when I wrote that song, I was fucked up. So fuck that we getting faded. Um, how it pertains now, like I said, in today's society, men being vulnerable is looked down upon. You know what I mean? You weak if you vulnerable. But I look at it as you strong. You feel me? Right. You strong if you could let your emotions out. Don't don't get emotional, but let your emotions out. Don't don't let your emotions get the best of you. Don't act out because you and your feelings. You know what I mean? But it's okay to express yourself. You know what I mean? And for a while, I was taught that. Keep a poker face, little G. G, keep a poker face. Your face showing, you showing your hand. You know what I mean? So I'm like, fuck. The fuck I'm supposed to do, you know what I mean? And me and my homies, that's what we know. Shit, that's what we know. Uh, smoke until you, <laughs> damn, that's a bad message. But it's real though, it's real. Um, don't lean to drugs to get you through your bullshit. You feel me? You're gonna be chasing a, a high that you're never gonna get. You know what I mean? You're, gonna, you're chasing a high that you're never gonna get. That first high that you get, you're not gonna get that shit again, bro. Stop chasing it. Take some time to feel what you're feeling. You know what I mean? That you could use that energy to something positive. You know what I mean? You could use that energy to something positive. Feel how you're feeling. Know your emotions. Know what triggers you. Cause when you high, you you don't really feel shit. You're not really thinking. You know what I mean? So deal with your problems. Cause every time you come down, your problems gonna slap you right in your motherfucking face every single time. Yeah. You gonna get you gonna get high. <laughs> 
And as soon as you coming down, you're gonna be, I swear to God, this is how you're gonna be. You're gonna be whatever, wherever you smoked at, the car, the crib, you're gonna be like this. Damn. <laughs> fuck. And you're gonna look at your homies like, fuck. It just comes back. And then you're gonna be chasing the high again. It just comes back. And you're gonna waste your money. <laughs> <laughs> no, as simple your, as that. You gonna waste your money, bro. For real. I didn't. I didn't spend too much money on weed, bro. But yeah, don't use drugs to fix your problems. What you should do: get you a journal, get you somebody that you can talk to, find somebody that you can trust. Talk to yourself if you have to. Shit, I talk to myself all the time. I talk to myself all the time. I'm my best therapist. Besides me and the microphone. Besides the microphone, myself is the best therapist. Talk to yourself. Ask yourself, how are you feeling? Why do I feel like this? How can I fix this? How can I go about this better? I, once you start thinking, things start coming clear. And when you high and you're on drugs, you're not clear. You're not making clear thoughts. You're not making clear decisions. You're gonna, you're not all the way there. Yeah. So find somebody to talk to, write down your feelings, find a coping mechanism, go, go to some nature, go, go out to the park, go for a walk, do something to get your mind off of the bullshit. And get off the phone too. Get off that motherfucking phone. That phone is, that's, I have you wrapped up in some bullshit, you know yeah. what I mean? Unless you listen to the album. Though. Unless you li ah, unless you listen to the motherfucking album. Next lyric, still off of faded. Yeah. We get no passes on life, so we puff puff pass all night. Yeah, that comes from like a, I <laughs> come from like a, uh, some real shit, you know what I mean? Smoke till ain't no more weed. Smoke till ain't no more woods. You know what I mean? Get high. Smoke till there's no more pain, right? Yeah, until so you can't feel it. What's that? I just told you I was listening to The weekend. I can't feel my face when I'm with you. <laughs> Hell yeah, that's, that, that's what that is. You yeah. know what I mean? Until so you can't feel it. But that, like I said, that's stupid. <laughs> I'm telling you from experience. That is the dumbest shit ever. Now that I'm saying that shit back, bro. That Don't do that. <laughs> if you if you if you take any don't do that bro deal with your problems the right way you know what i mean yeah deal with your problems the right way so next song parental guidance yeah you got my word i'll turn these curses into blessings mm. could you tell us could you give yeah. us some specifics about what those curses were that you were talking about what, what was going through your mind when you were writing that uh shit Damn, I might get sentimental on y'all real quick. Uh, fresh out of high school, another time I was fucking up bad, bro. I, I was fucking up bad. Um, I just told my people I was, I was done playing basketball. I played basketball my whole life. You know what I mean? I played basketball my whole life. Um, I didn't love it no more. You know what I mean? I was done with it. I'm not finna, I'm not finna keep doing something I don't love. So I told my people I'm not playing basketball. Um, that whole summer that I graduated, bro, I, I couldn't get off my ass. I could not get off my ass to save my life. It's like every time I thought I was making progression, life came back and slapped me right in the face. Um, I'm, it's to the point where I'm scaring my mama, I'm scaring my sister, I'm scaring people around me, you know what I mean? And like I said, the worst feeling is to have your people worry about you. You know what I mean? Um, I was just, I had some stuff in the house that my mama found, and she, that was just another situation. It was some, I, I was knee deep into some other stuff. I'm gonna work in a Nike shoe box. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and instead of dealing with it, like I said, instead of dealing with it and talking to my mama about it, I went to go sleep at the homie house. I'm not finna deal with it. I just couldn't get off my ass. It got to the point where my mama taking me to Bible study, my mama taking me to church, having the preachers and pastors pray over me. Just She's that scared, you know what I mean? It's to the point where she's that scared for me. And I don't want to get too sentimental and nothing like that, or get too deep in anything, but I promised myself that, uh, I promised myself that I wouldn't, let my, I wouldn't let my mama worry no more about me. I'm going to do something positive. I'm going to do something productive. I'm going to do something that's going to make my mama smile. You know what I mean? And this song did this. If I could show you all the text message that she sent me when she heard the song, where that, I didn't give a fuck about anybody else's validation or anybody else's no perception need. from the album. I seen that when my mama said to me, I'm like, I don't care what nobody else said, you know what you I mean? You don't need that anyway. But she said it, 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 it reassured that, it reassured that lyric right there. Right. That's just a part of me prophesizing, you know what I mean? Yeah. For sure. And it also reassured that, hey, 
this this is the path for me. This is my purpose right here, right? Yeah, it took it took some bumps and bruises. It took me getting knocked on my ass a whole bunch of times. Um, but I'm a dog. I'm a dog at the end of the day, you know. You're gonna have to kill me. You're gonna have to kill me for me to stop. That's just point blank period. I'm not I don't got no quitting me. I don't you know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm a win or die trying. That's that's my sure. perception. The the my my mindset that I have, I can't lose. I will never lose. I will never lose. And um, let me say that. Yeah. I will never lose. <laughs> I will never lose. I will never fail. My mindset that I have is either I win or I learn. I love learning. So every time I lose or take a fail, that's learning. I love learning. Yeah. So shit, I ain't stopping. So if you tired of me, then I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I don't know <laughs> then you're going to be real mad, real yeah, soon. Yeah, you're going to be mad. Yeah. That's all I'm going to say. And so, hey, that actually goes to the next lyric, which is also off of uh, Parental Guidance, which mm -hmm. is, I'm knee deep in this. Ain't no time for second guessing. Yeah. So that just goes back to the reassurance of, hey, I'm an artist. I'm going to yeah. do this. Yeah. That, that was a double entendre for something else. It was a, I don't want to speak on it on camera. You know okay. what I mean? I don't want to speak on that in camera, but... That's a double entendre. Okay. But it's, but for the political correct answer, yes, I'm reassuring that I'm an artist. I'm an artist. Sure. That's what I am. I'm not yeah. no street nigga. I'm not no athlete. I'm not no drug dealer. I'm not no none of that. I'm an artist. I'm an artist. I'm a philosopher. I'm a leader. That's what I am. So that's classic Glenn Terrell keeping us on our toes right there, um, being mysterious. So <laughs> next song, which is my personal favorite um, and your personal favorite, I mean, no. Far Away. I wanna fly. Yeah, that's my shit. Yeah. yeah. So here we go. Uh -huh. First lyric is, "Don't judge me. Let me run from my problems." Mm, yeah, that's that's. The, I remember why I wrote that. Um, that stems from the song "Faded." Exactly. It stems from the song "Faded." Really. Um, don't judge me on what I'm going through. Yeah, I'm fucked up. Yeah, I'm fucking up. Yeah, I'm. I'm going down the wrong path. Don't judge me though. Just let me, let me, let me figure this shit out on my own. Let me give me some space. Like get off my back. Let me figure this shit out. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, we, so, all, we all go through shit. Yeah. That's life. You know what I mean? It's just how you react. That's right. the that's the biggest thing. How you react is that's the biggest thing. And when I wrote that, I was I was at a rock bottom. You know what I mean? I was that song's a cry for help. Truthfully. Mm -hmm. The song, if you want to be honest, that song is a cry for help. I was at one of my lowest points when I wrote that song, so, yeah. And so that would also uh, relate to this next lyric off of the same song. I wrote this verse in blood while getting drugged through the mud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, you ever feel like the world was just beating your ass? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You just feel like life was just beating your ass. I like, think that's why this is my favorite song. Like, it's like every time, like I said, it was a point in time I could not get off my ass. Yeah. I could not get off my ass. I feel like going back to the uh, to the parental guidance, like a curse, like a curse. Everything I was touching, everything that I was coming close to, everything that I was being a part of was like, I feel like it was burning. Like, what the fuck is going on? Is it me? Like, mm -hmm. that's when I have to take a look in the mirror. And that's one of my most vulnerable songs, I think. You know what I mean? I let, I let, I got a lot off my chest on that song. Yeah. Got a lot off my chest on that song. That's my favorite song for sure. Yeah. Same with me. And then another one of my favorite songs coming up next, Feel Your Pain. Um, tired of saying the same damn prayer every night. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, that's a... I'm trying to think how I want to go about answering that, cause that's a that's a I prophesized on that lyric, and I didn't know what I didn't know what I was saying when I like I know why I said that. Mm -hmm. but it makes sense why I said that now. Um, we all have times where we question our faith. You know what I mean? Um, like who am I? What am I? What am I? What am I doing? Um, if there's a God, why am I going through this shit? That's 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 the best way to put it. If there's a God, why am I going through this shit? Why why am I seeing certain shit? Why am I going through certain shit? Why did I go through these certain things? You know what I mean? And um, but like I said, just reassuring it makes sense. You know what I mean? A blessing is never too late. You may not see it at the moment, 
what you're going through is for a reason. Like what you're going through for a reason. I mean, we all have times where when we're in the present, we're like, damn, I miss this time. You know what I mean? I miss, yeah. I miss, like I, I miss those times. I miss being with this person. I miss doing this. It's all for a reason, you know what I mean? And so did you know that when you wrote that? Or not yet? I don't, yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did, I did, but you never really know. I was like 18, 19 when I made that song. That's the crazy thing. I made all these, I made these songs as a kid. You know what I mean? I was, yeah. I was a kid when I'm, I'm making these songs, and I just had like an epiphany. Like most of the shit that you go through as a kid molds you to who you're gonna be when you're a grown up. And I'm looking back on my life, on certain situations, I'm like, damn, that's why I went through that. It makes sense. That's why this happened. It makes sense. That's why this person did this to me. It makes sense. It's all a, a learning process to just build you up to who you're gonna be. Yeah, so now that you're more mature, you can look back at all those experiences in life. Yeah, when I was younger, I used to always wanna point the finger. You know what I mean? I, I never took responsibility as a kid. It took to me where I'm like, damn, it's not nobody else, it's me. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm the one fucking up. Yeah. And that's when I, I start became a man of understanding. That's, I think that's the biggest thing, becoming a man of understanding that whatever you're going through, it's on you. It's nobody's fault but yourself. You're either going to have a good life or you're going to have a bad life. It's up to you. You know what I mean? Take responsibility for your actions. Nobody, nobody coming to save you. Nobody's yeah. coming to save you, bro. You figure this shit out, you're going to be on your ass the rest of your life. For real. That's, that's what that was. Yeah. So, one of the last songs off the tape they don't give a fuck about us. I want you to tell me about they overdosing on dopamine. <laughs> yeah, we got hella dope fiends. <laughs> it's hella dope fiends walking around. Uh, you either a human, robot, or a zombie. You know what I mean? If you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. But yeah, the dopamine, your phone. That's that's dopamine. You a dope. Yep. If you addicted to your phone. If you're addicted, if you can't, oh, where's my phone, where's my phone? You a dope fiend. You no different. You a dope fiend, yeah. bro. You a dope fiend, you. It's crazy, even going back to what we said um, earlier, like the, the government aid rappers and shit. Right. They rapping for emojis, bro. Think about that, they rapping for emojis, bro. They rapping for emojis. They doing all, they crashing out for emojis. They playing with fair time for emojis on their post. That's a gratification. That's a feeling that they're thirsting for. That's a dope thing. Can you blame them? Hell yeah. That's their fault. I mean, yeah, it's their fault. It's for but, sure their fault. But is some of the shit that they see, is some of that leading them into that, that you know, that path, that short-term path? What you mean by that? Like, is, is some of the things that they're seeing, because they're seeing everyone else doing it, and they're like, all right, let me get popping then, and maybe I'll be different. That's their fault. It's their fault. That's their fault. You're choosing to point a gun at the camera. Right. Nobody's telling you to do that shit. Nobody's putting a gun to your head to mm -hmm. point a gun to the camera. Nobody's telling you to do that. That's your decision. Nobody's telling you to do certain things for attention. That's your decision. You know what I mean? So yeah, yeah I blame them. They don't know. Nobody else get that blame. Fuck <laughs> that. Y'all, they be. I mean, some of them would be kids, but... And that's sort of what I mean, you know, like... It'd be sad, though, because it, it'd be kids, it'd be babies, like... Yeah. 16, 17, 18, y'all playing with fair time doing this bullshit, bro. Yeah. Like, that, that people are watching the internet, bro. Don't, don't, play, don't play like that. You know yeah. what I mean? Do not play like that. That's not a... That's not... Don't be that guy. <laughs> Don't be that guy. Tracks six and seven, Young, Dumb, and Under 21, and Love Me or Hate Me. How do those transition into parental guidance and the miseducation of Glenn Terrell? Oh, hey, you saucy for that one. <laughs> <laughs> you saucy little motherfucker for that one. But uh, uh, Young, Dumb, and Under 21, and they, they tie into both of them. Um, being young, dumb, making mistakes. Um, that's um, like I was talking about with parental guidance is making mistakes and fucking up and doing all with your dumb shit, young and dumb. And then when I fuck up, I get defensive. 
Mm-hmm. Like, nigga, I'm not wrong. Fuck you. <laughs> you feel me? I'm, you got me fucked up. I'm a, I'm a stand on my fuck up. You feel me? Yeah. You don't gotta. You still could, gonna pop? Yeah, I'm still. You could love me or hate me. I'm still gonna pop. It don't really matter. But that ties into parental guidance. That's just me maturing. That's truthfully maturing. You know what I mean? Um, you always wanna to the people you love. You don't wanna hurt the people you love. You know what I mean? Right. So those songs are about people I love, the Miseducation, Glenn Terrell, and Prince of Guidance. I made those songs about people I love, you know what I mean? I don't know if the girl heard the song yet, but she's gonna hear it one day, one eventually. She gonna have to. If you're watching this, if you're watching this, I made this song about, yeah, you, you, (laughs) you, you, not nobody else, (laughs) nobody else, you. I made the song about you, and I hope you like the song. If you don't, Let's go a little bit deeper now. Mm -hmm. Don't give a fuck about us. They don't hear us down there. They don't feel us down there. (laughs) That was it? That's that's the lyric. They don't hear us. Oh, shit. They don't hear us down there. They don't feel us down there. Yeah. Um, That's like another double entendre. You know what I mean? Uh, That's like from a standpoint, from one standpoint, um, the, the tape is called Hated Misunderstood Generation. So my generation is hated and misunderstood. But like the older people, they say, the young people are stupid, they ain't got no sense. They never took the opportunity to sit down with a lot of these motherfuckers and talk to them and see why they acting the way. Cause when they was young, they was fucking up too. Like right. they was doing boogie shit. We just smoking weed and shit. You know what I mean? I mean, majority was just smoking weed. They was doing lines off the table. They was on mm-hmm. some other shit. Yeah. We was both on some other shit, you know what I mean? Ours is just televised by social media. Right. If they had social media back then, they'd be saying the same thing about them, you know what I mean? So nobody really sits down with these certain individuals. And that's what the tape is. We didn't even touch on that. This ta- Each song is a person I've met in my life, in my lifetime before, you know what I mean? Like every school that I've been to, every school that I went to, I've always been in like a... Me and my partners call it the LD class, like the the learning deficit class, the slow people class. But it's not. It's like they put us in like these behavior classes. Right. It's different individuals, the ones that's fuck ups or bad kids, but they never took the time to realize why they're a bad kid. Right. And I was conscious of that I would always be in these classes. I'll be like, why do they put all of us in these classes? Like we all bad, but it's a it's a it's a reason why these people act like this. You know what I mean? And that's just. These songs are the people I've came across while growing up, while going to school, while living with people like faded people, drug, drug I don't wanna say druggies, but people who's stoners, they smoke yeah. to deal with their problems. Um, HMG anthem, Love Me or Hate Me. The ratchet motherfucker in the class is just acting a fool, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. um, Revelations, free yourself, the, the, the conscious, but we're in a, today's time where conscious is not accepted, so that turns into forceful power, Ign- not ignorance, but like forceful power. A lot of today's leaders are conscious people that are forceful now, so I mean? Right. Songs like um, Just Friends, I Ain't A Player. I can speak on those certain, like I Ain't A Player. I've been in situations where I want to talk to a female, but you mess with sauce, so you, I heard about you, you feel me? Like, shut up, and you don't even know, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Just give me a chance. And then like Just Friends, that's on the other side, like the female spectrum. You know what I mean? They've been hurt by a dude, so I'm not, f- fuck these niggas, don't trust these niggas. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? These are all people I've came across before, you know what I mean? Right. So, that's why, I, and that ties into the whole movement of HMG. I started, this is a movement, it's bigger than, it's not just music, yeah. it's not just, it's not just, it's a lifestyle. You know what I mean? This, right. shit, this shit is tatted on me. Yeah. This shit is tatted on me, you know what I mean? My mama was right next to me when I got it tatted. It's, right. This is a lifestyle, hustle, maintain, and grow. The hate and misunderstood generation. It's the this is a home, this is a space for people to be yourself. Yeah. We're in a time where society doesn't let kids be themselves, you know what I mean? You gotta be this, you gotta be this, you gotta be, you don't gotta be none of that shit, fuck them. Fuck, fuck, look, fuck them, fuck them. Come fuck with, come fuck with HMG, you know what I mean? Be yourself, free yourself, and yep. that's, that's that, you know what I mean? So, so just because they don't give a fuck about us, you, us, how does this tie into you know, some of HMG's purpose. Like, is HMG gonna empower those that, you know, they don't give a fuck about us? Yeah. If you listen, I'm giving you the game. That's all I'm asking for your ears and your hearts. I said it on Revelations, yep. you know what I mean? I just want your ears, you know, I'm not asking you to 
I'm not finna tell you nothing that I'm not finna do. You know what I mean? I'm not one of them. You feel me? I'm not no. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know the word for it. But I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you. You know what I mean? My days of trying to get over on people, I did that as a kid. That's bullshit. I, my heart is pure. My intentions are pure. So I'm giving you the game if you listen. You know what I mean? It's up to you. I ain't begging nobody. That I ain't begging nobody. I ain't. You gotta do this. You gotta do this. Power to the people. But fuck that. You feel me? Yeah. Be yourself. That's that's really my message. You feel me? I'm I'm giving you the game. I'm giving you the tools. And what's bigger than that? I'm an example. Right. I'm an example. Like I said, if you need proof God is real, you looking at it right here. You know what I mean? If I could do this shit, you could do it. You know what I? I, I let me not say that because everybody not cut like me. Everybody, <laughs> you feel me? Everybody not cut like me. Everybody not built like me. But it's possible. Chase your dreams. Yep. And you can do anything you want, bro. For real, you can be whatever you want. Don't let nobody tell you different. For real. And if they do, fuck them. I don't care who it is. Fuck them if they tell you different. You feel me? And so that leads to the last track off the tape, Revelations, where you say, real shit to me is passing power and knowledge to your peoples. The right way. Right. But the right way. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of kids. I was a kid once. You know what I mean? The best way to teach a kid, the best way I was taught was example. What's your demonstration like? You know what I mean? I can't be no leader if my demonstration fucked up. So that just puts more, I want to say pressure, but it keeps me it keeps me in line. You know what I mean? I was a born leader. I was I was built for this shit. When I came out my my, my when I came out my mama coochie, I was on the front page. You know what I mean? Straight up, like I'm being a honey. You know what I mean? I was on the front page newspaper when I was born. I was built for this. I was born to be a leader. So. I study leaders. The best way to teach is demonstration. Your actions. Your actions speak louder than words all the time. You could tell it, you could tell it, you could tell a motherfucker, do this, do this, do this. But if they don't see you do it, well that was me. If I don't see you do it, why are you telling me to do it if you're not doing it? You feel right. me? So you're that example. Yeah, why are you telling me to do it if you're not doing it? If you, if you know all the answers, why the fuck is your life fucked up? You know what I mean? Right. So me being the demonstration is the best way to. Exactly. Keep striving to be something positive, something powerful, you know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. And so, final lyric off of Revelations that I want you to comment on is, and what I love about this lyric is the final part of it, thinking I know it all, but not really knowing what's going on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that goes in another thing of leadership. Um, Shit is out of our control at this point, bro. Like, if you looking at the climate of the world, bro, it's out of our hands. Mm -hmm. It's zombies walking around now. It's robots walking around in a real way. You know what I mean? You can't. You think you know what's going on. Like you think you do, but you really don't. Right. We're just, we're just minuscule to what whatever the powers that be is. You know what I mean? I ain't gonna say too much because they be watching this shit. <laughs> they be, really? you they, be, they be watching it. They be watching <laughs> it so I'll be watching my words. You know what I mean? <laughs> but the powers that be, whatever they got in line, whatever they planted, we have no control over that shit. We think we know. If the if the Illuminati is real, how the fuck do we know about the Illuminati if it's a secret society? You feel me? Yeah. If if it's the New World Order, how the fuck do we know what they finna do? How the fuck do we do? How the fuck do we know that if it's a secret society, if it's a secret plan? How the fuck do we know? How does a little motherfucker from my neighborhood telling me, "Oh, the Illuminati's trying to do this"? How the fuck do you know? <laughs> is you the Illuminati? You feel me? That's that's what I. So we don't know what the fuck is going on. Only thing we can control is ourselves. Know what I mean? Is is that is that pessimistic or realistic? It's realistic. I'm gonna keep it real with you. I ain't finna sugarcoat shit with you. You know what I mean? I ain't finna sugarcoat nothing. Only thing you control is yourself. This shit is, shit is out of our hands. Can you, you can't really, you can't name one person that changed the world. They've impacted the world, impacted. They left impact, but changed the world. If if they changed the world, we wouldn't be in the situation that we're in right now. You know what I mean, but it's really about perspective, though. It's really about perspective. Some see the world is fucked up. Some see it as beautiful. You know what I mean? It's just all, like I said, it's all about you. You control what you want to see. You control how you live your life. 
Yeah, um, that, that's the only variable you can really control. Yeah. Yeah. You're going to lose yourself otherwise. Yeah. And so I want to go and just recap the entire album now. I want, I'm want i going to go through and I want you to give me one word to describe each track. Got you. All right. First, what's going on? Conscious. HMG Anthem. Ism. Faded. Uh, real, real. Nine six era. Game. Oh, free yourself. Game. Nah, I'm gonna do that twice. I ain't gonna do that to y'all. Uh, free yourself. That is the god. God. Young, dumb, and under twenty one. Easy. Love me or hate me. Ratchet. Parental guidance. Um, taking responsibility. The miseducation of Glenn Terrell. Uh, a love letter. I ain't a player. <laughs> I ain't a player. Uh, it's feeling good. Just friends. A fucking hate you letter. <laughs> <laughs> Far away. Far away, a crowd for help. Misunderstood. Um, my life. My Feel life. your pain. Um, a voice for those that need it. They don't give a fuck about us. Consciousness and just uh, awareness, awareness, awareness. Finally, revelations. Leadership. 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 Okay. So, do you have anything else to say? Yes, I do have something else to say. Uh, for all you motherfucking industry rappers, I was I was being calm, I was being cordial, I was being politically correct. You told me not to be politically correct, Jake. Fuck, he fuck said that. fuck being politically correct. Fuck so we're gonna do it like this. All the rappers that's big right now that's getting comfortable, I'm on your motherfucking ass. I'm clicking on your motherfucking heels. I'm coming for y'all. Excuse my French if my granny watching this, if my mama watching this, if my little cousin watching this, but I gotta get this off my chest. I'm coming for your motherfucking ass. Don't get comfortable because I'm gonna smack your shit. Stay in the studio and one day we could probably make a song. Until then, listen to HMG, the greatest motherfucking mixtape ever. And yeah, we're gonna leave it like that. HMG, stack that. Harry in the building.